of bucks is frazzling back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you so if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome into my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you so much for the support our our community is really growing fast and it's like people are starting to subscribe at least almost every day so that is truly a blessing that you know we can all share our knowledge and wisdom amongst each other and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming our way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also um if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend please go ahead and do so especially an empath they're really going through some trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose um is greatly appreciated so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media or favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's truly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today the beautiful meditation music i'm listening in the background is called control your dreams sleep music 432 hertz deep lucid dreaming sleep music 800 hertz theta binary beats and i will post that link in the description box below and today um my video is uh called twin flame 101 hey okas new moon has you has you playing tag tug of war with your ego y'all <laughs> i don't know what's been going on with me but i've been like in such la la land you know like you know when you first start dating somebody and you're just all in love and all this and this and that even though i don't got a significant other like that but that was the you know the you know the the vibes that i was getting like it was truly something out there you know i said never know i might be getting ready to meet my soulmate it's, it's just it is what it is so it's just going through all these different things since the new moon and the mercury retrograde coming back and all this crazy hoopla hoopla and you know dealing with the you know the gemini moon and um the taurus moon was just what was it wednesday or thursday or something like that so it's just like going through all these different things you know you could be blissful you don't want to for you know all these days but it's just the phases that's going on through the moon you know heading towards the new moon it's like a lot of things are you know going back and forth back and forth you could be like okay i'm healed from this 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 and this and that and then that ego come back and want to start oh but remember this and oh remember that and why you st you know this person did this and this and that to you and uh it starts having you you know remember a lot of painful situations you've been placed in but it's just like uh, i'm gonna tell everybody now because it's like i'm i was going through it and you know and this is still clearing out as well so it's like all these different things that are going on in your life is like like i told everybody you're you're heading towards a new chapter you're in a new chapter so it's like it'll have you looking at a lot of things differently as well as your dream you know your your dreams will start telling you a lot of things that are going on or coming to coming into play uh within the days or whatever or even you find yourself daydreaming a lot like i could be on the phone with my soul sister and her butt be just like clean just like oh dang i just like <laughs> she's just like uh it's up here spaced out on me i'm like did you hear a word i said and i don't take offense of it because there's so many phases we're getting so many downloads like today i'm like so fighting uh a headache but it's like my head is like when you have to use the bathroom you know it's full it needs to be released so it's just like i was gonna wait until tomorrow but it's like these are the things that need to be released today so i'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way you know um to go ahead and put the information down but i know these are also you know pressure points from you know me getting a whole lot of downloads and a whole lot of information and uh, just going through the phases of renewing my soul you know we're all going through that soul renewal too i keep hearing that the soul renewal is going through so it's like all these different things are coming into place so it's just like you're putting something in the washing machine and you got stains on your clothes or your clothes are dirty it has to go through certain cycles you know to you know wash rinse off so it can come out squeaky clean 
So it's like a lot of these things will have you go in tug of war with your, you know, your ego. Like you can be really feeling like, you know, things are due, you know, things are done. And it's like uh, allowing you to be able to see the things that we, you know, we, we probably still have and we're probably still, you know, struggling with. Because, you know, it was just all of a sudden I started thinking about, you know, my biological mom and, you know, my, my adopted mom. And it's just like so many people are just coming in to help me. And it's like, you know, I, I felt, you know, a little needy, neediness for my mom. You know, it's like these are the most times I really need you. But I understand and I have to respect that, you know, that she doesn't want to have that connection with me. You know, it, it's kind of hurtful at times. But now it's just like I truly understand. You know, I was 16 when I had my daughter. I had a chance to, you know, either abort her or, you know, give her up for adoption. I'm like, no, you know, my mom did that with me. I, I love my daughter. You know, um, all these different things have popped up and come into place. So it's like I never, you know, I never felt, you know, any anger towards my mom. You know, I don't know what her and my dad experienced, you know, when they were going to do their things. I remember of a lot of arguments, you know, there was, a, they argued a lot. So, you know, it was just like really toxic. So, I mean, I understand, you know, why she wouldn't because it's just like, you know, she's in her new life now. So she doesn't, that might feel like to her, she's opening up old wounds. Because it's like when I see my mom, I see my mom not really happy. So it's just like, it is what it is. I just have to be able to take that with a grain of salt and keep it moving, you know. Just say, you know, if it's meant for us to talk, you know, it'll happen. If not, you know, it, it'll be what it is. So it's just like a whole lot of yesterday. It just had me just, you know, going through the motions. So that's really the reason why, you know, like I tell y'all, you know, I, I keep it real. Not every day is going to be perfect. You know, when we go through these things, you know, some people think, you know, oh, I would love to be an empath. Why the hell would you even want to wish that on yourself? You wouldn't want to do that if you're not an empath. You know, I mean, it's a beautiful thing because it's like, I love what I do. I tell y'all this a lot. I love what I do. I love when, you know, my brothers or my sisters, you know, chime in on messengers like, hey, sis, can I talk to you for a minute? Or, I, you know, I'm struggling with this. You know, can you tell me what's going on? And I'm like, next thing you know God gives me that gift to be able to tell them exactly what they needed to hear at that time and that's a true blessing for me but if I had my choice well I say if I had my choice I'll still do the same thing because I'm an empath so I wouldn't know <laughs> what to do anyway if I wasn't but you know I tell people don't ever wish that on you you know on yourself a lot of people are like oh you know how is it we feel everything we feel everything if, if the earth goes through something we feel it you know, we, we have, you know, we deal with all, all these different energies come around. Like I was on the Enlightenment um, Lightworkers. I think that's what it was, Enlightenment light, Lightworkers on Facebook um, that me and a couple of, you know, my love bugs here are connected with there. You know, I was talking about bringing other ears and, you know, the, it's supposed to be like dealing with DMTs or, you know, your family, you know, is trying to let you know that they're around I got one it was like a couple of videos ago I can't remember what it was but it was like bing, and it sounded like somebody had one of those symbols and hit it right in my ear and I'm like ah! you know I'm doing it during my videos so it's just like it's amazing how we can go through all these different changes and you know you have to be able to let your your ego know I no longer need you unless you about to say some positive ish to me don't say nothing to me <laughs> I'm like, okay, you just sit there and you be quiet and let me do this. So it allows you to be able to know that the things that you're going through is like a must. You know, don't get mad at yourself if you're going like you feel like you went 10 spaces up and you're renewing everything. You're you're seeing everything in a positive, you know, light or anything like that. But then it draws you right back. It's like there are certain things that are still there. I'm trying not to get into that because I know there was another video they wanted me to do on these separate things that you know we're still dealing with so i say i can't really go into that but it's allowing you to really know you know you are in charge of your life your ego is like a fail safe when things get you know when you're getting out of your comfort zone because i've been seeing a lot of numbers and like rosalyn get out your comfort zone and i'll say you know what you're right you know you're right i mean y'all trying to lead me to my better spot so i can't get mad for y'all keeping it real with me because i keep it real with myself as well is you know y'all so it's just like a lot of times we we we're like oh we're we're through we're you know we're healed we're this and this and this and that and then next you know ego want to pull chime in like ah oh, no you're not remember this i'm like if you don't shut your butt up you know but you're going to be going through these things and it's okay 
you know, we're on our, you know, our new chapter. A lot of y'all might feel a lot different, you know, um, like different is like with me. I constantly, when I know I'm getting downloads and it, it, it strikes something, it's like all of a sudden I just start banging the heck out of my head. Like, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. That mess starts, you know, it starts itching. Next thing you know, I start having those chills come through my body. Like it's, I could be saying something to somebody. Next thing you know, the chills will come out. And as confirmation about something, you know, your body's trying to get you elevated towards the thing, especially if it's positive. So it's like right now your body is manifesting a lot. Your mind is manifesting a lot. So be careful about what you engage your mind into. You want to make sure it is po positive as possible. And they, that's what they just told me because I'm like, oh, gosh, give me give me some more stuff. Y'all know y'all want me to talk about this stuff. So give it to me. So it's like they're telling me. You know, allow yourself to be thinking of things that you do want in your life, not the things that you don't want. Because right now, with you being in this new chapter in life, and it's like your pores are open. It's like, I don't know if any of y'all had those mothers to tell you, you got to make sure, it's like after you have a shower, you have to make sure you're at least in the ho house for an hour before you tend to go outside and start doing your other things because your pores are all open. And that's exactly what's going on with this new chapter. Everything is like you're open. So it's like all these things you're manifesting. It was like I was talking the other day, you know, about, uh, yeah, I said that to y'all, about when I was talking about Lala Ree, uh, Dauphine Lala Ree and Marie Laveau and all this stuff. And next thing you know, I'm watching Snarled and she ends up putting um, Dauphine's house uh, in a picture. I'm like, whoa, because it's like I had a corner picture of, you know, Dauphine's house because I know I had strange energy and I didn't realize how close I was because it's over there you know, uh, near, uh, I think it's on or near Bourbon Street. So it was like all these beautiful archi architect uh, architecture buildings. <laughs> I was like, buildings, I'm not even going to say that word, just buildings. And, you know, and it was like very old. So it allowed me to remember certain times when I walked down those streets, like in the 1800s and stuff like that. So it allowed me to be able to see my past life. And a lot of y'all might be daydreaming about things that you've done in your past life. So a lot of things is starting to come into play with you for this new moon. So it, it's just like you being a little werewolf. All these little things start to come into play. You start feeling weird. You know, I get aches and pains, which I have a lot of. I'm like, I don't know if it's just my age or whatever but it's like my hips are really bad because I know my dad had hip surgery so it was like I was supposed to have hip surgery so it's just like I haven't had pains in my hip for a long time but all of a sudden my joints get really you know achy or stiff and it starts hurting really bad so you know all these different things are going on in life but you have to really pay attention to what you what you keep your thoughts on because right now you're manifesting a lot and you if you're trying to manifest the things that you truly want in your life you can't keep manifesting on things that you know if it's not serving a positive purpose because a lot of times like I said I've been getting a lot of of the angel numbers is telling you telling me that I need to release you know a door is opening whatever you know one's about to close you have to be able to anything that is not like bringing you you know, a good purpose in your life or serving a positive purpose, you know, it's like anytime that I've been trying to do myself, it's like anytime a negative uh, memory comes back, I try to put three more positive memories or things that I want to happen in my life into that so we'll get off of that situation because it's like I do want to release that. Anytime that comes in, it's like you no longer belong to me. I have to tell myself that you no longer belong to me and I'm releasing you with love and light. You know, be able to forgive those people. Don't stay focused on the people that is not bringing you any good light to your, your life, is not bringing you any positive vibes to your life. You know, it's just a lot of times we feel like since we're Hayokas, we mirror people. And it's just like when it comes to those narcissistic people, I remember seeing a post because I kind of figured like, is this me? You know, am I mirroring what's me? Because I don't I do not do people like that. I got a conscience. I won't do it. You know, and they're like, no, you don't mirror anything that doesn't love you. It's just a lot of times people come into your life for you either being tested for them to learn off of you or them to learn off of you, uh, or them, you know, vice versa. So allow yourself to be able to release whatever it is because it's like a lot of y'all, I feel a lot of y'all are going through a major 360 and you are bringing to the surface the things that you truly want in life. You are at that break that you just don't know how close you are to your blessings. So baby... 
stay positive okay stay positive so whatever you are really truly wanting in your life just be able to stay focused on that no matter what and i know it can be hard at times trust me i know and especially with all these different phases that are coming on with the retrograde and the new moon and all that stuff that, that jim and i went just passed so all these different things is coming into play it's allowing you to like recycle yourself into that positive energy so allow that to take effect in your life and i will talk to you on my next video um i missed y'all yesterday but like i said i had to i had to go on my self-care journey i don't like doing videos when i'm in that type of vibe so but anyways i'm gonna go have my personal vacation out to uh let me see uh, I did cat. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say cat low. Casey Shaw and Nikita Howard. How much love to you? Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I would love to know if you resonate with this video. Um, if y'all had a blessed, safe weekend. Um, and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day, and I hope every dream that you're aiming towards, it comes into fusion. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know when your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.